Now, Iran's Fars News Agency says explosions have been heard near the airport at the country's central Isfahan city, but the reason is unknown. Iranian media now says there have no attacks. There have been no attacks, in fact, from overseas. Several Iranian nuclear sites are located in Isfahan province, including the Natanz and the centerpiece of Iran's uranium enrichment program. Now, on Thursday, a senior Iranian Revolutionary Guards commander said Iran could review its nuclear doctrine following Israeli threats. The remarks raised concerns about Tehran's nuclear program, which it has always said was strictly for peaceful purposes. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has the last say on Tehran's nuclear program. Amid smiling, spiraling tensions, of course, Ahmed Haq Talab, the Guards commander of the charge of nuclear security, hit out at Tel Aviv. He said, if the Zionist regime wants to take action against our nuclear centers and facilities, we will reciprocate with advanced missiles against their own nuclear sites. Now, addressing officials from the Mossad and Shin Beit intelligence units on Thursday, Benjamin Netanyahu stressed the need and the importance of determination and unity. He said his country was committed to defeating the terrorist axis in Gaza, freeing the hostages and to repelling the overall threat coming from Iran. Defense Minister Yoav Galan said Israel has the freedom of action to do what it wants. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.